Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jody, and on my channel I talk about Broadway and books. And in today's video, I'll be talking about some of the books in Reese's Book Club that I've read over the last few years. Um, I, th I decided it'd be fun to put this video together because there's so many books out there and there's so many book clubs now out there. And I just thought I'd talk about some of the books in Reese's Book Club that I've read and, you know, let you know it, my thoughts on them, what they're about, and, you know, you can decide if these books our books you'd like to read in the future. So yeah, without any further ado, um, I'll get on to today's video. I'll be talking about four books here today. Um, definitely plan on reading more books in her book club in the future, but I've only read four at the moment. So hopefully this video won't be, won't be too long. But the first book is a book called Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. Um, I read this book in 2020. This is actually the second book by Celeste Ng that I've read. I read Everything I Never Told You first, and that's by far one of my favorite books of all time. So I was really excited to read another one of her books. And yeah, this book definitely did not disappoint. It was a very well-told and well-written story. Um, Celeste Ng is just an absolutely incredible writer who has a way of writing characters that have a lot of depth to them. Characters that aren't perfect, characters that are flawed, but, that, but because of those things, they're very relatable. And yeah, I can't say enough great things about this book. It's just really... It was just perfect. It was just really great. And um, as far as like the details and specifics of the story, I don't remember everything as clear because like I said, I read this book a few years ago in 2020. Um, but I'll give you a brief overview on what the book is about so you have an idea of um, if this is something you might be interested in reading. So the book takes, the story takes place in a town in Ohio and it's very much like a perfect town where everything is in its place everyone follows, follows the rules there's no surprises and then um you know it's the story kind of centers around two families that of the richardson family and that of a new family that has just arrived to town um mia who is a single mother and her daughter and the two families lives be um begin to connect to one another because mia is renting a house that is owned by the Richardson family and so more to the story is that something takes place in the town that kind of puts people in the town on on opposite sides and the Richardsons and Mia and her daughter are on opposite sides of this thing that's happening in the town as well and the, the story kind of goes from there there's also a bit of a mystery element to the story as well but yeah this is this is definitely one a book I really remember liking and I wish I could tell more about you know specifics and the details of the story but like I said it's been a few years since I read it but I definitely hope to reread it in the future and in case you didn't know Hulu did make a tv series adaptation starring Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington and it's like such a well done adaptation so you have that to watch after you read the book and this is definitely a great book in Reese's book club okay so the next book I read in Reese's Book Club was a book called a L.A. Weather by Maria Empora Escondo, and I read this in 2022, and this book centers around a family, and there's an incident that happens very early on in the story, and because of this incident, uh, the family kind of begins to unravel. Um, like, there's resentment, betrayal, secrets are revealed, and it's just a really well-told family drama, if you will. But um, I thought the author just did an amazing job with this story about writing about family, how these are the people in your lives who you love the most, but how sometimes they are also the people in your lives who can annoy you the most, but how at the end of the day, these will be the people that will stand by you no matter what, you know, no matter what you're going through. And I just thought the author did a really great job writing about family. And what I really thought was really interesting and well done and unique about the way the story was told was the story takes place over the span of a year, I believe. And instead of chapters, it's told like by months, like months of the year, January, February, March. And that's just a really interesting aspect to the story that I've never really forgotten because I've never come across that before. And definitely something that stood out to me as something that was interesting and unique. And yeah, I really, I really like this book. Um, a really great book um you know to read a, another great family drama story and yeah another great book in Reese's book club um the next book i read in Reese's book club was a book called something in the water by katherine stedman i read this book last january so the story is a little bit more fresh in my mind if you will so this story um centers around a newlywed couple named Erin and mark and 
they are on their honeymoon and during the course of their honeymoon they go on a scuba diving excursion and during the course of that excursion they find something in the water and basically what they find in the water changes both of their lives forever and this was the first book by Katherine Stedman that I've ever read but I definitely cannot wait to read more of her work in the future um, she's just an incredible writer this book is definitely what I categorize as a psychological thriller and the pacing of how the story was told kind of was equivalent to an ocean wave if you will so as the you know as we'd read more and more of the story the intensity level of you know what was going to happen in the story kept rising and rising and rising like an ocean wave until everything comes crashing down to the end like an ocean wave and I just thought the pacing of the story was so incredibly well done and for like a thriller you want that to be the case and it was just a, a story that truly kept you on the edge of your seat and reeled you in there were a few like things that I didn't think were like great in the story for such as I did think it did think it took too long to get to what was in the water also I did feel like there was a reveal that was done at some point in the novel and I did feel like it fell a bit flat but overall I really enjoyed this book and I definitely think it's definitely one worth reading especially if you like thrillers and psychological thrillers it was really well told but really well written and just another amazing book in Reese's book club um I believe this has been optioned to become a film at some point I don't know any more details on that because I haven't heard anything about it recently but there's a potential book adaptation to watch in the future after you read the book and then the last book I'll be talking about today is my most recent book that I've read in Reese's book club and that would be sorry um uh, so, uh, the last thing he told me by Laura Dave I read this last March and this is a book that centers around the character of Hannah and Hannah is a newlywed she is just recently well she married her husband about a year ago at this point Owen and during the course of becoming Owen's wife she is also become stepdaughter to his stepmother to his daughter Bailey <laughs> and um so Hannah lives a pretty simple and quiet life and then one day that kind of gets all turned upside down when she receives a note that was sent to her by Owen that just says protect her Hannah doesn't know what to make of this she tries to contact Owen he's nowhere to be found so the rest of the story basically deals with Hannah and Bailey trying to find out where Owen is and why he would leave and yeah I really really love this book it was a book that I, I kept hearing so many people talk about and once I found out it was going to be adapted to into a TV series I was like I want to read this first and after reading it I can totally see why so many so many like this book it was just a really well-written story Laura Dave is just an absolutely incredible storyteller and the story just like really reels you in and I was fully invested in the story and I would say overall most people like this book but there are some that I don't think like this book for the reason probably of the pacing of the story in this book goes quite slow I would definitely categorize this book as very very much a slow burn mystery and questions are still unanswered even halfway through the novel it's not maybe until three-fourths through the novel where you start to finally get some answers to these questions that you've been wondering about that have come up in the novel and honestly that did not bother me in the least and I just attribute that to how amazing of a storyteller Laura Dave is um like I said the story just really reeled me in I was invested I wanted to see where Owen was I, and I just like I just really like these characters and I just thought the story was really well told and well written like I said and like I mentioned that this does have a TV series adaptation it's on Apple TV it stars Jennifer Garner and as far as the adaptation goes yeah it it was a really well done adaptation I will say though that the ending in the book and ending on the show not a spoiler it's the same ending but I felt like the ending had much more of an impact on the page versus on the screen and I don't know that could just be me but that's just a little side note I guess but yeah this is a really this is another amazing book in Reese's book club I really really like this book it's definitely one of my favorites that I've ever read and yeah so those are all the books that I've read in Reese's book club not many but you know hopefully eventually I read more books in her book club as well as other book clubs and I can make more of these videos so hopefully today you you know learned about a book you maybe never heard of before or maybe um 
a book you might have heard of before and you're wondering if it's worth reading and yeah every book that I talked about today I definitely believe is worth reading so I hope you enjoyed today's video and until next time bye